right, your grandma gave you one thousand dollars for your birthday and told you to have you have to put it in the bank and can only take it all when it doubled in value. You are hoping to do this in eight years. What annual percentage rate is necessary for you to double your money in eight years? So how are we going to do this? If my money doubles in eight years, what's it going to have to get to? 2000 Um, kind of a weird thing in this problem is that they haven't told us how we're getting paid the interest, right? Is it continuous? Is it annually? Did they say annually? Yeah. What, what annual percentage rate? Oh. Uh, there you go. Thank you. I guess it does. What annual percentage rate? So what that is talking about is one plus the p-value raised to the eighth power. So if you remember a couple of days ago, we talked about it. If you say one plus a decimal, your, your values are going to go up. If you say one minus, the depreciation is going to start going down. So in this case, a bank account, the money will go up. So one plus p. So what's the first thing we have to do? Divide by 1,000 on both sides. What do you have to do now? How do you get rid of the eighth power? Um, one over eight on both sides. I'm gonna move it over here. So basically it gets rid of the parentheses. And what do we have to do at the end? Subtract one. So two to the 1 8th power minus 1 is equal to the p-value. So what I have written down is an exact value. I haven't done any approximation. But nobody walks around saying, hey, I got 2 to the 1 8th minus 1 uh, for my interest rate at the bank. You know, you get punched in the face. So uh, <laughs> 2 raised to the 1 divided by 8, and we subtract one. So remember, the p-value stands for the, the, the percent change in the problem. So that's the decimal. What's the percent? 10.1%. So let's just call it, you're, you're going to need about 9% from the bank for your money to double in eight years. So that's something called the rule of doubling. If you take 72 and you divide by how many years you need your money to double in, that's the interest rate. Um, but it's the same process. Slowly pull things away. Kind of reverse the PEMDAS to pull things away. The price of the first portable computer in 1981 was $1,795. In 2012, the average cost of a laptop computer was $513, and it did much, much more than it used to do in 1981. Set up an exponential equation, show each step needed to solve uh, for the growth rate. So this is a, a, a growth rate problem. So it started at 1795, right? And where did it end up? At 513. Now, for it to go from 1795 to 513, what kind of growth rate did it have? A negative growth rate, right? Or a decaying effect? The price was coming down. So depreciation. So when you do your your work, we should probably be thinking ahead and let's call it one minus P, right? Something was causing it to go down. 
Uh, how many years is it from 1981 to 2012. Then what do you do? divided by 1795 to the 1 over 31 power is equal to 1 minus P now. We have two steps left. One, what do you have to do first? You want to subtract that 1. And the last step, last step, we have a negative here, so we still want to divide by negative 1. So let's see what happens. I had 513 divided by 1795, right? That number was raised to the 1 divided by 31 power. I subtracted 1, and then I divided by negative 1. So we're looking at something like this. Is that what you guys were getting? So if that's the decimal, multiply by 100, I guess, if you want the percent or the growth rate. Right? So this, this is a little bit weird. Um, what was it? Is 3.6 good enough? What? P was 3.95. So, but what kind of what kind of growth rate is that? We talked about it. It's 3.95% decay, right? It was going down. So in these problems, you're the one that controls whether it's a decay or, or growth, you know, appreciation or depreciation by what you set up as 1 minus P or 1 plus P. Population of a small town has been declining again uh, because jobs have been leaving the area. The population was 23,000 in 1996, and now it's 18,750 in 2001. So that's five years, right? Five years? Assume that the population is decreasing exponentially. Define variables and write an equation that models population in the town. Uh, use it to find the growth rate. So... We started at 23,000. We ended up at 1,000, uh, excuse me, 18,750. And it's 1 minus some p value raised to the fifth power. So if somebody's sitting near you, you get that number, and then we'll see if everybody got the same number. Well, anyway, there's the answers. <laughs>